for if you're if you whoever is you're going up against who's going to pick these two heroes Kaja oh. and uh, Cho Actually level 4 pa lang diba laban agad go for the yeah. <laughs> way of the dragon go mm. for the what do you call that the G- divine judgment divine judgment uh, that's actually a lethal combo Pinahi- pinahina na nga yung ring of order damage grabe pa rin eh Again kahit na pabaan yung damage kasi yung core mechanic niya na manghihila as mga ano mang suppress yeah. eh napakahirap din talaga ng palitan so for now uh, Rumble Royale, pick muna on the grok para naman magawa ng paraan yung uh, early game para mab- medyo mabawas-bawasan naman yung early game ng Dream High Esports and uh, they're trying to hover over the carry and this time around, talagang wala na silang no choice talagang go for the yeah, I mean, carry na talaga Okay, this is the same lineup except may grok naman sila Oh, that's swap mean, lang Yeah, pero the Kaja ban, I felt like Dream High Esports, nakita nila Rumble Royale's biggest weakness was that their magic damage wasn't really online yet for the for the Harrod. So of course Kaja could further amplify that and para maiwasan maging extremely devastating yung Harrods early on, they might as well ban out the Kaja. So they realize okay, we've seen the flaws in game number one. Maybe we have to like adjust and do something about it here in game number two, hmm. which explains the Kaja ban here by Dream I Esports. <laughs> Actually, yeah, Diggy. Oh, Diggy, no. Pero, uh, pwede rin i-pick kasi ng Rumble Royale. Pag na-pick ng Rumble Royale, nullified penalty zone. Nullified yung oh, yeah. Hurricane Dance. Sa- sino pa pipigil dun sa sa Harit? Yeah. So, I'm actually surprised na pinalagpas sila yun. Man, if RR picks up the Diggy, That's malaking huge. bagay yeah, yun. Definitely. No? Sobrang laking bagay yun indeed. Like, of course, Lolita. any crowd con- any crowd Lolita. control specialties Lolita. here by Dream My Esports. Lolita pa. Yeah, that's actually... This is, this, is, this, is, this is a really good Diggy game, no doubt. Uh, pero I think they might have different plans because, again, medyo... They like to prioritize that fighter. They want to go for Liam Ward whenever they can. And uh, the also surprised this Minotaur. Pero they <laughs> go for Are they really good? Oh, sige. So, sige, Almost sige. exactly the same oh, pick. Hindi, Thamos naman. Uh, Thamos is... Fams has better survivability ah, than Liam Ward. Obviously, si Liam Ward mas malakas yung damage output, pero, pero of course... Pero nagatot kacha sila. Wow, okay. Mm. Different priorities here for Rumble Royale. Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see kung magiging effective ba ito. Tignan natin kung magiging... Uh, well, of... Ma- yung magiging tagap sa ibaba nila itong gatot kacha na to, or mapapatumba si- ba sila ng Lunox? Yun yung mga tanong dito, guys. Eh. Yep, anyway, yep. Uh, sa mga nonood dyan, by the way, don't forget, share nyo din yung stream, tag nyo mga tropa nyo, MPL Season 4 Main Qualifiers ng nangyayari ngayon. Mahali nyo, ito na yung mga panonood din nyo in the coming regular season, linggo-linggo, right here. And of course, uh, huwag nyo kakalimutan din, i, ano, sabihin nyo na sa amin kung sino tiin nyo mananalo uh, dito sa game na to. Uh, we want to see also why, kasi bakit ba, bakit ba, bakit tiin nyo mananalo ito mga to. Anyway, for the meantime, uh, what do you think about the picks, man? I like the Lunox pick as well for the side of Dream High Esports. I mean, Lunox can really help you early on in yep. team fights. Oh, no and of course, you, you'll expect Rumble Royale to go aggressive again because of the Harith pick. But then you have the Lunox pick that could actually potentially go aggressive. But then you have to take into consideration, Meron kang gatot kacha for Rumble Royale. So that means the early aggression could actually further amplify because of gatot kacha's overall survivability. And of course, Harith and gatot kacha that's actually a very interesting dynamic duo because it's very rare to see those two and for them to immediately be shown in the battlefield is something that's going to be potentially a beauty to watch okay. for this matchup. Well, let's see if it's going to be a good audience to, or will it be a stop here against Rumble Royale vs Dream High Esports 1-0 so far in favor of Dream High. Let's run it down, boy. Uh, on the blue side, nandito naman sila Rumble Royale, Lue on the Grok, Danielle on the carry, Mark on the Harriet, Gio is here on the Galakacha, and uh, Lebron on the Fams, however. Oh, invade. Oh, oh dealer. Oh, oh. My god, that's a lot of damage being absorbed by Wise there. Like this niya by the light, but not gonna be enough. Danielle will get the first blood on the Lunox. Mm, this is actually something very new to see, like carry immediately being part of the rotation squad. But I guess so brown confident with the Gatot Kacha, which is actually a very good strategy. Like, you can actually go very aggressive with carry because of the fact that Gatot Kacha could actually have the crowd control and oh. Sur- oh, look at this. No, oh, grabe naman. Sneaky, sneaky by V1. Na deny yung uh, experience in the gold coming from that crab. So, hindi sila mag level for agad, agad. Lebron, 1v2 sa taas. Walang ka problem, problem din. Again, Lue. Medyo pahihirapan lang ng Conde si Wise, pero again, Lunox yan, so malakas yan sa early game. Absorb, absorb lang pag may time. And yeah. uh, right now, they're going for a fight. Oh, Wise about to go down here. Can he actually survive? He did. That's really a good start for Rumble Royale. 
capitalizing on the pressure of Harith and the Grok. And of course, in game number one, nakita natin nagle lane yung carry. Here in game number two, nagro rotate na siya. And it's oh. a smart strategy because one, si Yaknu, we've seen in game number one what he's capable of doing against a carry early in the game. Now, nagpalit sila ng strategy. What if we make a uh, carry rotate around the map? That oh. would that would allow him to get the necessary farm needed. That he, so that he could snowball efficiently all throughout patungo sa late game. Cha hindi ka din mafocus down. Pag paikot-ikot ka, alam mo yung magtataka sa dasan kaya yung carry na to, yeah. no? Hindi ka yung ma magkakapag set up ng trap agad mm -hmm. and you can be able to just uh, get gold whenever it's available. And uh, very smart from Rumble Royale but still uh, right now Dream High Esports they still have that Lunox advantage. Hindi pa rin siya napapababa ng sobra. So 2-0 so far, Rumble Royale 2000 gold lead as well. Dream High Esports, uh, they're having a hard time dealing with this Grok and yep. Arith in the mid lane. Yep, indeed. As Mark is gonna attack onto V1, V1, Makataras Kaba, of course, with that bulwark. Of course, it's not Robin gonna be <laughs> an insurance policy anymore with what Mark is showing as of this moment. That was some very strong burst. Alam mo yung timer nung ano, nung uh, turtle buff. Sakto eh, no? Oh, nga eh. <laughs> <laughs> Putok eh. Anyway, on the other tower. Oh my god, si Yakto, hindi na nakatagal. Right? Like, Blazing Duet. Kill goes over to LeBron as well. Ito na over farm on the top lane. And binabox in na din si Zico on the Akai. You know, ang ganda ng pressure dito sa top lane on the side of Rumble Royale. Alam nila, Yaknu's gonna be a late game threat. Oh, Mark is gonna attack through oh. with those shields onto Zico. Pero makakatakas naman dyan si Zico. Ito na. Ito na yung stride na gusto mangyari ng Rumble Royale sana. Yung early game pa lang, hindi ka masyado mabaog. And Daniel, actually, ang laking bagay ng first blood yeah. kay Daniel. I feel like sobrang confident niya bigla pumunta sa mga farm area kasi alam niyang hindi siya under level. So, yeah. hindi siya ganun kadaling ma-burst down as well. And uh, Dream High Esports, so they're still wondering what kind of rotation are we gonna do? Paano lalabas si Iyaknu sa mapa? Let's just try to focus on keeping him alive for now. Mahirap eh, kasi ang ganda ng movement ng Rumble Royale mismo eh. Like, one, if you stay in the lane, susugurin ka mismo ni Lu Wei yep. and uh, ni Lebron. And if you try to go to the jungle, Daniel is already going to hunt you down together with Geo is here. So parang yung options ng uh, Dream High Esports is actually very limited because of the movement na pinapakita ang gilas dito ng Rumble Royale. Yan yeah, nakagulat yun, no? yung carry yung sakit agad, yeah. maaga pa lang. So, and that's the uh, problem. Pag binigay mo yung first blood, maaga pa lang. Dilar gonna be oh. locked in here on the bottom lane by our R4 man. Gang to walang katakas-takas. Dilar will go down. And I think Turtle right on time spawns right next to four people from rr yep indeed that's gonna be very helpful for the side of rumble royale they got the kill six zero is the score line just look at the gold lead there and then they're gonna get the turtle and they get they're able to secure it i mean that's gonna give a lot of momentum on the entire squad of rumble royale yeah i mean i mean nakuha naman nila yung uh, turret sa taas pero again pwede din lang trade yung mid lane it's gonna be a big problem if they get away with it Looks like Numen Blast will be channeled the wise. Getting very low. See Mark survive pa rin. And killing spree na gets the Lunox. Bag siya mapagsak ni V1. Ang ganda ng discard yan mismo. As you can see here, Zico's just gonna get surrounded here. Daniel's already slowly online early on. Nakakatakot na yan if you're Dream High Esports. The fact that your carry early in the game is getting the momentum swing. Five minutes. And he's able to secure three kills. Which is so unusual Grabe. for a carry. 8-1 so far, 5 minutes. Napakadugong labanan. Again, dahil nga yun sa Harith pick na yan. 3-1 and 3. Kahit na sobrang, alam mo yung, dapat, dapat da dedo na to eh. Bakit yeah. tumadaban pa rin to? Because of the shielding, yeah, the again, shield itself. ang laking bagay nung shielding yan, especially pag hindi pa masyadong 7 minutes or 8 minutes in the game. Just keeps that heart alive. Basta dumikit ka lang, mag-chrono dash ka lang palapit sa mga kalaban mo. Yep, indeed. The shields, tapos yung synchro fission pa, pa. That actually scares a lot of teams because, sure, na slow ka and Harith's damage is not really that high. But then, you have to take into consideration, paano kung tumalon mismo si Lebron? Paano kung tumalon si Daniel? E di mag-further amplify yung damage as D-Lar gets oh. killed there by Mark. Bottom lane, gonna be a, a bit of a trade here. Still being pushed by Lebron. Ito naman si Iyaknu trying to get as much gold as he possibly can bago siya ma-pressure ulit. So right now, medyo lumalaki ng lumalaki ang lamang ng Rumble Royale here. Almost 6,000 na mga kaibigan. Iyaknu still trying to form out. Habang si Daniel and si Gio is here, nag-hunting-hunting na lang sa Ledgy-Ledgy. Yep, and so far, we, we, we speak about the early game pressure that Lunox could provide. But so far, hindi natin nararamdaman. Because look at, look at Wise's stats right now, 0-4. He's always the first target of Mark. Mark is really going, uh, doing a good job making sure that Wise doesn't do any impact so far in this matchup. 
Yeah, in the uh, impact niya is napapababa naman talaga ng matindi. Oh, yeah. uh, even LeBron tahimik na tahimik lang yung kanina. Pero kanina pa din kumukuha ng gold at kanina yeah. pa siya nakakuha na kasimple ng tower. And uh, this turtle mo ang mabubunta naman sa RR kung walang gagawing mabuti, ay wow na gagawing uh, nakatakot ang Dream High Esports. Man, they're having a hard time actually even checking the bush. Nakatakot din sa si Gio pag natont ka yan. Wala yeah. na, especially Cloud ka bawal mag-face check. Yep, indeed. And of course, Claude certainly one of the most important factors. At nakikita natin, sobrang desperado ng Dream High Esports sa laban nito. You see the Claude already. Oh, oh. Medyo magandang move sa akin from Zico. Pero si Daniel, tumutunaw na lang ng tanky at this point. V1 under the tower. Iakno trying to see if he can get some damage in. Na force pa yung flicker mula sa lolita na ito. Medyo hirap na silang makapag-survive. Tower goes down and fast transition naman ng Rumble Royale to tower sa gitna. My feather na si Mark, so that's gonna further amplify the damage that he could provide in front of the Dream High Esports lineup. So far, ang ganda ng mobility na dito sa matchup. It's already showing. So Yaku's already missing the blazing duet, and so far, look at it. Dream High Esports, parang they're so intimidated to move forward because of what of what uh, the counterplay available here by Rumble Royale. It could actually potentially burst out the entire lineup of Dream High Esports. Really Grabe scary. Good. Look at the gold. Oh my god, my god it's so blue. Ah, it's so blue, it's sad. So for the meantime, bot lane naman mag push here for Rumble Royale. They do have very little creeps. So hindi naman sila mga kabasag. Pero ang naging problema dito, hindi din sila masyadong makalabas. Iyak nuga, siya na lang yung nakalabas talaga na maayos dito. Kasi he has battle mirror image. So pag pwede ka mag-BMI palayo. Pero kahit hanggang ngayon, takakatakot din gawin. Kasi yep. pag nahuli ka ni Gio, Bawal. Ay, pag nahuli ka ng stun, di mo alam, bigla lang palang may mag-ultimate si Gatot Katya sa mukha mo. So, kailangan din ng ingat. However, tinitry niya ngayon bawas-bawasan. Looks like wala siya masyadong backup at alam yon ni Iyakno. Kaya mapapush niya palayo ang Gatot Katya nito. Yep, Edina. So far, Iyakno is trying to get his farm rate up, which he desperately needs. I mean, of course, kita natin yung desperation niya with that blazing to it near his own base. So, of course, I mean, this is something Rumble Royale has to watch out for. I mean, Iyakno is trying to get his momentum back. I mean, zero one one doesn't really speak a lot for Yakno, but he's actually, he's actually slowly getting his way. But of course, with the objectives here by Rumble Royale, it might not it might be too late now for Yakno. Bilis ng kuha nila dito sa Lord na to. And again, it's very easy for them to do that, especially without Yakno. Kasi feeling ko, siya na yung pinakamalaking bawas dito sa ngayon for Dream High. Hindi mo nung kailangan ng kill on this Claude. Eh. Right now, kung kakompleto lang nung Golden, golden Staff niya. Staff. So, medyo, kumbaga full damage fret na yun. Yeah. For the meantime, yun na yung pinaka-power spike. Ni Claude dito sa laban nito. And take note, si Daniel already has his items. Meron na siyang endless battle. And of course, that's gonna dish out a lot as well. So of course, Dream High Esports, you can't be too confident na meron ka ng Golden Staff yep. and meron ka ng Demon Hunter Sword on your Claude. The fact that Daniel already has three key items on his arsenal, nakatakot na yan eh. So, oh. sure, you, you may have bragging rights kasi Yaknu could potentially go online. But of course, you have to be clinical and precise for you to win these team fights. Yeah, kasi okay naman ang Blade may golden stuff ka. Pero for the meantime, hold that thought. Mukhang gusto lumaban agad ng Rumble Royale. It's a very good hurricane dance na palayo at nakapag-isolate ng isa. Pero, ganun ka siya. Ang ganda ng pasok nila, Gio, doon sa likod. Numen and it looks blast. like the Numen Blast is gonna be making it right on time. Si Daniel nag-try mag- uh, uh, kite against the claw and it worked perfectly. Right now, see Wise 0, 6, and 2 on the Lunox doesn't have that much damage. Cannot deal with the pressure coming from Rumble Royale. Una, kulang sa damage yung Dream High Esports sa matchup na yan. Pangalawa, ang ganda ng distraction tactics ng Rumble Royale. Yung Order Brilliance, there was no there was no legitimate target there by Dream High Esports ng Order Brilliance. So, that actually created space for Rumble Royale to go extremely aggressive. Kahit na numinong blast ka, all right.